Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Hancho back at you again with another video. And so yesterday, the 5th of May 2021, marked the third year anniversary of the murder of Raheem Barton, aka GB from Moscow 17. A lot of you watching this video probably know who Raheem is, but if you don't, he was a part of a UK drill rap group, again called Moscow 17, and had quite a few hits under his belt. I have made a video before on Raheem talking about his case going over it so if you do want to go and watch that video i will leave it linked down in the description below you might want to go watch that first so you have an understanding of this case now for anyone who is familiar with this case then you'll know that up until now three years on no one has been charged with raheem's murder and the police have recently put an appeal out but there is some new information that has been given to us from police that over the three years to what i'm aware of hasn't been given to the public before. So let's go through this recent appeal. It reads, quote, Detectives believe information about a stolen car could be key to identifying the gunman who shot dead a 17-year-old boy in Kennington three years ago. Raheem Ainsworth Barton was murdered on the evening of Saturday, the 5th of May 2018, in a drive-by shooting. Two people were arrested in the weeks that followed and detectives have made extensive inquiries, but three years on, his killer is still at large. It's believed Raheem was standing with a group of friends on the corner of John Ruskin Street and Camberwell New Road when he was shot. The friends who were there will have seen what happened and will have vital information, but so far they've been reluctant to come forward. Detectives believe that a grey BMW Series 2 Grand Tourer with the registration WT17CFK seen on CCTV around the time of the shooting is crucial to identifying those responsible. They are confident it is the vehicle that the suspects used to make their way to and from the area. Here is new CCTV footage the police have now released to the public in order to help them with this investigation. appeal continues that the number plates on the vehicle at the time of the murder were not real. The true registration should have been BP17YVV. It had been stolen during a burglary in Essex overnight on the 23rd of December 2017 and its plates were later changed. Officers are keen to hear from anyone who remembers seeing this vehicle in London either in its true identity or that used in connection with the murder at any time after the 24th of December 2017. Any information about where it was being kept, who was driving it or who was being carried in it could prove vital. A £20,000 reward is being offered by police for any information, whether about the car or another aspect of the case that leads to the successful arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for Raheem's murder. Detective Inspector Joe Sidaway from the Met's Specialist Crime Command said, Raheem's murder shocked and angered people across London. We are determined to identify and bring to justice those responsible, no matter how long it takes. We are confident that this grey BMW Series 2 Grand Tourer was used by the gunman. We know it was stolen from from Essex and that it was being used on false number plates to and beyond the date Raheem was murdered. I'm appealing to the public to assist us in identifying who was using this vehicle and where it was being kept. Did you see it parked in your street? Did you notice it left in a car park? Did you see someone putting it in a garage? Any information, no matter how small, could make a difference. I also want to appeal to Raheem's friends. I'm sure that some of you will know who pulled the trigger. I also know that some of you may not have the most positive view of the police and may feel that coming forward with information is a betrayal or a sign of weakness. Nothing could be further from the truth. Please give us the information to convict the people who killed your friend. We understand that doing so will take tremendous bravery and we are here to support you in any way we can. We are waiting for your call. And so some new information that has 
came to light in the Raheem Barton case. Again, from what I'm aware, those CCTV images were shared for the first time recently. I wasn't reporting on this case at the time when it happened, so I'm unsure if this was in the original appeals. But when I did do the GB throwback case, from all the sources that I collected, and I did spend a little while collecting them, I never came across this CCTV, which normally I would have done. But this does go to show you that the Metropolitan Police are still actively searching for the killers in this situation. And even though nothing has happened as of right now, that doesn't mean moving forward nothing will. A lot of you might be asking yourself, well if this case hasn't been solved after three years, will it ever be solved? And that could definitely be true, we could see this case continue to be a cold case. But we have seen in situations before 10, 15, 20 years go by and then out of nowhere there's a breakthrough in the case and someone goes on to be arrested, charged and sentenced over it. Of course, if I do get any further updates surrounding this situation, I am going to keep you guys posted on this one. And again, I do want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to Raheem. Of course, yesterday was the three-year anniversary, so I know it's going to be especially hard for his family around this time of the year. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like, and if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy, Ape Hunt Show, and I'm out.